My name is Christopher Nesman. I am a student of Professor McAllister's advanced filmmaking class <clears throat> for the fall semester at the JLC campus. Yes. And I chose to do my presentation on how the media portrays races on different levels. Mm -hmm. And I started by talking about the First Amendment because the First Amendment allows them to do that. Mm -hmm. So the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution is that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech, press, the right of people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. All right? And out of that amendment, I chose freedom of the press, mainly because the press has to do with media. The freedom of the press or freedom of the media is the principle that communication and expression through various media, including printed, electronic media, especially published materials, should be considered a right to be exercised freely. So, media consists of many different platforms. Books, magazines, newspapers, video games, music, internet, cell phones, and most importantly for this class, television and movies. There are many movie and television stereotypes that are published, I mean, let go by the media, like black people die first, Jews are always rich, Native Americans live on a reservation, Latino men lust for Latino women who are always exotic. Asians are geniuses who know martial arts. Arabic people or Muslims are usually terrorists. Blacks are criminals who refer to as thugs, while whites yeah. are alleged criminals or goons. Stories in the ghetto neighborhoods are often covered with violent or gang-related issues or robberies and anything else. Celebrity minorities are publicized regardless of their fame level. News agencies represent different political parties, so that affects minorities. Criminals get different jail sentences and news coverages if they are minorities or not for doing the same crime. Stories of fluff outweigh grievances for minorities. Mm -hmm. I mean, of minorities. Video game stereotypes. Studies suggest that the majority of children playing video games are white. Mm -hmm. International Game Developers Association published published that people of color were underrepresented in senior management roles. Oh, so the people who are creating these games is mostly Caucasians. Misrepresentation of races are definitely shown throughout video games. And these are some statistics that I found. Latino characters are represented as baseball players or gang members. Around 85% of black males are portrayed as sports athletes, while the rest are mainly criminal or urban street games. 86% of black females portrayed in video games are used as props or bystanders. And whites are usually the default hero characters. Right? And then I spoke about in my paper a few things that drew my attention, like the show Blacklist is about a, an FBI, a criminal who is wanted by the FBI. He's a Caucasian male and he uses the FBI to do his crimes and whatnot. <clears throat> It gets him off. And because he's white, white. you know, a lot of mm -hmm. people love it. And it is a very good show. I actually watch it myself. <laughs> there was another guy. His name is Tyrone Howard. He mm -hmm. shot a cop. And throughout that whole day, they was following him on the news coverage. In the same day, another man stabbed a cop. And he was a Caucasian male. And he was not on the news that, insane, that same day. Um, training day is the total opposite of Blacklist. Because Blacklist has a white person who's a criminal. And this, we have a captain of the police force mm -hmm. who is a black man played by Denzel Washington. And he's so high up in the police ranking, but unfortunately, he's a dirty cop. And he is stopped by the rookie white cop who becomes the hero. Grand Theft Auto 5 is a video game that talks about, you know, self-explanatory, stealing cars, murder, all types of other crimes. And it is followed by um, a redneck white man, a black man from the ghetto around like Compton area and like an Italian guy who knows a lot of mafioso type of people. Clay Anthony Early is a, he was a New York Nick. He was not a good player. He was actually very trash. But because he was a celebrity, he got shot and he was grazed in his leg at a New York nightclub. And that graced the news over many other people who either got stabbed, shot, robbed, 
rape, anything that had happened. This guy, he broke the news over them. So that is what my presentation was about. And thank you, everyone. All right.